a few of us learned a new Spanish word. The, most of the kids already knew. <laughs> but the word was, was it fuera? Is that what she kept saying? Like, so she would take out bad things. She found stuff in the shell of the turtle and some of the bad things. And she said, you know, we need to get the bad things out. And she would say, fuera, in the name of Jesus. And we'd get rid of those, some of those bad things. So that kind of reminded me of a little something. And plus Mr. Matt, you know, I have a co only a couple weeks left to impress him, so I thought, what can I do? So, what I want to do, she talked about, we took the bad things out, and we asked, and then she said, when we ask God to forgive us, he takes, you know, he takes it away, and she talked about putting the, the good things in. Well, what were the good things as a whole? You remember that list of things? What? Very good. It was the fruits of the Spirit. And the ventriloquist was actually very impressed that all these kids knew it so well. Well, there's this really cool song that the kids like to sing, and that's kind of how they learn it. It's really very fast. But so she talked about we fill that with the fruits of the Spirit. And you know, some people think they ask Jesus for forgiveness, and sometimes they forget that the Bible says when he forgives you, he forgets it. It's as far away as the east is from the west. If Sometimes if someone does something to you, they hurt you or something, they come and ask you for forgiveness. Thank <laughs> you. And you say, okay, I forgive you. But sometimes you see them again and you remember what they did, right? You're like, I don't know if I want to be their friend because they hurt me last time. Well, God is not like that. When he forgives us, it's gone forever. And so I wanted to kind of talk about that. So can somebody name me one of the things or just something that's the bad stuff that's in our heart that can make us not well or make things? Yes, Audrey. Pride. Pride. That was one of the things she said. So I want to write it on this paper. And pride was like thinking that you're better than someone else, right? And God doesn't want us to do that. He wants us to love everyone. Okay, first of all, I'm going to use this candle. Do not do this at home. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> and make sure your dad doesn't try it at home either, okay? When we ask Jesus to forgive us, the Bible says he forgets it and we never see it again. So here's the pride. <gasps> what? <laughs> The fire of Jesus just puts that away and he forgets it. The pride's gone, right? Okay, give me another one. What was one of the other things that they talked about? Her Achilles, what's, what's, huh? Sins in general, right? So we'll just put sin on there. And sin's anything that doesn't please God. We'll try it again. So what do we have to do to be forgiven our sin? We have to pray and ask. God forgive Absolutely. Ask God for forgiveness. Fuera, right? We'll do that. Fuera. Oh, that's gone. One more time, okay? What's one of the other things that she said yesterday? Let's see if any of the other... I know you know them all. Let's see if any of the other kids were listening. Yes. Gossip, right? Oh, she talked about, I like gossip. That... <laughs> Gossip is when we talk about other people behind our back. And that turtle said, well, I like gossip. That entertains me. And she's like, everybody does it. Even the adults do it, right? But it's not good, right? God wants us to love other people. So we need to get rid of gossip too, right? Fuera, we need to ask God, forgive us so that we don't do that anymore. Woo, all gone, right? If you do it again, I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to do it anymore. But we need to remember that. We need to get rid of those bad things out of our heart, put the good things in, and remember that when we ask God to forgive us, it's gone forever. He doesn't remember it. We might remember it. We need to forget it. We need to move forward and ask God to forgive us and move forward and love other people just like he does. Let's pray. God, I thank you for these kids. I thank you for this church. I thank you that you are a God of love and that when we ask for forgiveness, you forget it forever and that you can help us to go out and tell others the good news and love them like you love us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.